Hello, I'm McCaven. Welcome to a Kill Next. Uh, this uh, we're playing on YouTube, our YouTube version, of, our YouTube save file of a uh, Next. We've got uh, up to 1,400 people now and completed 19 tasks. I uh, would like to point out a pretty. My, uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, pretty major thing. I I recorded a bunch of audio, video and didn't actually record my audio, so that sucked. And then I recorded another section, and uh, apparently I didn't actually record any video, so I heard nothing but audio. So combine the two, you actually get some. Uh, anyway, so we're pretty. Um, I'm not sure how to. I've actually found a way to sort of create a backup point uh, using the save file data and and, and saving that. But uh, um, anyway, so that's sort of the story, I'm, and I'm sticking to it. So one thing we we're trying to do is, uh, oh, by the way, I, I wanted to point out I I, I created a huge um, um, a huge grassland biome. I just you know threw a bunch a bunch of grass and then I and then um, I threw down a couple chickens, and uh, chickens seem to have found their way <laughs> around the world, uh, which is probably where we're getting most of our DP from. Uh, I think it's about 30... 30 3,000 DP there and anyway so then part of the what we're trying to do um, is we are trying to create um, a woodland biome and we needed ash and sycamore and the biggest trouble with ash and sycamore which is their height so this is actually a pretty good biome uh, I've improved it quite a bit over the time but um, so this is like it goes from 20 uh, all the way up to 40, which is too high for Sycamore, I believe. Um, and then, so then we had a nice little, oh, hey, let's put some, um, it's a little bit lower down here, but we kind of needed in the 20s. So that was kind of became sort of part of the problem um, with the Sycamore, I believe. Yeah, it needs to be below 32, and the Ash needs to be above um above 20 so it's like this is kind of a sweet spot that's really hard to find um you know maybe i'll have a a better you know come up with a matrix or you know <laughs> a thin matrix but you know basically a list of the biomes um the optimal biome ranges uh, it just seems like a little too much work um for the uh, the range uh you know when we're talking about we're going from actually a really good example is when you're going right here from uh, six meters uh, you shoot up like really quickly um, you know it goes from six yeah it goes from yeah it goes from nine to twelve to seventeen to twenty seven and it just shoots straight up so it's like the the it's kind of a great example where it's like you don't you just kind of get this I guess you get this outer rim that's hard to find um, there really kind of maybe needs to be an elevation map. I've I just um, a lot more modes would be really great. Uh, and one uh, talking about the patch notes, I was going to link. To, I showed the patch notes a couple times, but it it just seems like it wasn't going to be working out for me. I thought I'd just focus on seeing my audio, seeing the video being recorded. But uh, um, I was I know I was thinking like it, it, I'm I'm a pretty small YouTuber, but in order I should probably write up a list of these changes I've been talking about and sort of send that off to then Matrix so he can actually go through and figure out which ones he wants to or you know take the, some of that feedback I'm sure he's getting a lot of feedback um, but anyway so we were talking about the updates a few videos ago and it wasn't sort of um, anything in particular um, uh, one of the things I guess we haven't really uh, I, yeah, so like right here, you can sort of. I, he talked about changing the colors and numbers. Just kind of a little worried about because sometimes I just um, it's harder to see text sometimes for me. Um, but these actually look pretty decent. Where you, you can sort of, I think I'm not sure if that was the change, but you can sort of see forest is kind of a darker. I don't know, I don't know what kind of green that is, but a yellow green versus the kind of woodland is a brighter green. Uh, so anyway, so once we got the uh, that, uh, the we can actually go through and create the rabbits. Uh, once you have the sycamore and ash, and you can create the rabbits. 
And then one of the things I also did with my guinea pigs over here is um, I bred them for orange. It was like 30k, uh, and I just dropped one in here. Now all these guys are orange, guys and gals. Um, and part of that is future thinking for um, the squirrels, uh, which then we needed to... Uh, so we were pretty much there. Uh, oh, yeah, over here. Wait, are you... Hey, are you... Come up. You're not eating nuts. I wish I could say, hey, focus on nuts as your diet. Because, uh, so anyways, we got the net tree in our little uh, fiasco over here. Which, um, we needed the sycamore into the nuts. Um, and I, don't, I don't remember what the requirements of that was. Um, oh yeah, yeah, uh, well, I, I don't remember. There was a, a few requirements here to get into the nut tree. Um, and then the nut tree was actually quite, uh... It's actually not quite happy, but it needs to be, again, in that 20 to 70 range. Um, and, let's see, what is it? Are you complaining about the height requirement? Oh, the habitat is your environment. Your environment's kind of meh, because it's only a 60. Which it could be better. change this around? I guess it doesn't have any any like species. So yeah, so hopefully um, are we tracking? Huh. Yeah, so hopefully a few of you guys will start munching on. Uh, so we got the, uh, spent the uh, DK, uh, DP and got the um, the orange trait, um, and then we were ha so over here we were trying to draw. Um, we dropped uh, quite a few uh, rabbits. <coughs> they were created rabbits too over here because they kept dying almost instantly because they didn't have any food. Uh, yeah, we have the DP. Let's uh, <coughs> have some fun here. So we dropped a rabbit, and um, for some reason. Hunger is not happy. Yeah, it has one like species, which is probably great, but the problem is it has no hunger. So after a few minutes, uh, he um, he'll pass on from this great world into the great rabbit um, portion in the sky. Um, and so that's part of the ish, uh, the thing. There is we needed uh, fruits, uh, so we um, it's kind of really need a bizarre combination of things uh, for the rabbit. Let's see. Um, oh, because uh, the thing we need uh, for the rabbits, well, it's carrots as well. I guess it's just sort of a, a, a choice. Um, but if we drop our wild mint like right here, um, yeah, so we started the carrot production by dropping three rabbits and, um, oh, and it needs to be in a grassland. <laughs> Yeah, so it needs to be in a grassland. It's above 90%. Yeah, yeah, we were having this trouble. Uh, so it has to be in a grassland. Um, and it, I think um, nut trees uh, do not like um, grassland. But there is a, a tree. You know, it's one thing I was, I was talking about, too, is like uh, we've talked about this before. It's like we were looking for something that lives in the grassland. And it's a tree. But... It's a species. Uh, that's why I can't. So it lives in a grassland, and it needs to be a tree. Well, I can look up a grassland tree, and I can look up a forest tree, but it really needs to, there needs to be a way to say all trees, like all, uh, go trees all, or all this, or all that, because um, I'm looking for an apple tree, which I think I is now, an, I realize now, uh, no, it's a forest Oh, no, no, no. See, and it doesn't live in a grassland. It lives... Um, yeah. Yeah, so... It, it, so this tree uh, is a, a forest woodland tree, but it's actually a woodland tree. Uh, so we somehow... Oh, hmm. 
Yeah, so, I don't know, maybe we'll, since we're having such a love uh, The other thing, too, we focused on also was over, um, feels like a normal YouTube there, just kind of come back and tell you all the fun they had, and you're like, uh, we, so we got sparrows. Uh, we needed, um, something rather, I don't remember what it was needed to get the sparrows, but it wasn't that, um, we had the, once we had this certain type of tree, or the certain type of woodland or something like that. I think, yeah, we just took a, a chicken over here, dropped him in the world, and um, convinced him that he was... Yeah, I see, sure, now your problem is your um, altitude. That's the, yeah, your altitude is poor. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess, you know, you'll... I don't know. You'd think it would sort of gravitate towards where it wants to go, but... Anyway, so we dropped a, a chicken in here uh, and created a a, um, a a sparrow through that, and then took the chicken out because we don't want. Um, and we dropped a sparrow uh, over here. Um, I, I think it's oh oh it's actually I think the over here is kind of one of our next goals is to do, for the um, it's the one of these oh the acer tree. Yeah, the acer tree over here. I can't remember where that comes from. Yeah, right here. The acer tree um, is one of the trees that needs a, or likes to have the uh, birds around. I think there's a certain type of tree. So, but uh, to get the acer tree uh, is to uh, so with to do that. Um, I, I, for potatoes or something to that effect, we need some sort of. Uh, there's a higher end thing we're gonna need here. Um, and so we need dark orange, and then we need sage, um, and various things. And I kind of feel flustered, because I'm like, I can't remember what the exact... I, mean, I was just talking about that as well a little bit, too, is um, in the single-player game, I'm sort of focused on one thing. Well, I kind of dip around because it's hard. you have to sort of find out how much deep you know like hey I you know oh, it'd be not too hard to get this so uh, orange and mushrooms are, oh it's not too bad and then you look at the DP cost and you're like 65k which you know we're up to 90k so oh you know the other thing I was thinking about too there really needs to be a way to pause the game I don't think there's a way to just you know like right here or something just quick pause It just, yeah, that would be kind of handy. Oh, yeah, that's the bomb, too. Just be handy, because, um, you know, when I'm, like, I want to look around my world right here, and everything should just pause. Uh, anyway, so, you so yeah, it's like I, I tend to focus on, like, hey, I really want to, you know, figure out, you know, one thing, and I'll, I'll, I'll sit and I'll look at it, too. Um, but, yeah. trying to look at the time yeah so maybe I'll just kind of poke around a little bit um, and and oh, oh, yeah so oh the goat and the deer yeah we haven't actually done these yet oh you need fruit bushes oh yeah fruit bushes uh, were one of the things I was thinking about like maybe that's how I did it I must have done it some oh yeah bushes are up here I know they eat carrots, but it's like, it's a specific, oh, it's a root vegetable. Oh, yeah, fruit bushes are fallen fruit. And I don't think we have, I don't know, over here. Yeah, we don't have, yeah, so we're trying to get carrot. Uh, but, I, yeah, that's my what I've done. Um, or what else, what else? It's fruits. Uh, yeah, fruit trees, which are apple trees, which are only in woodland. So I might have actually um, done that through the fruit bush. Um, oh, which 
just through the tomato plant. Is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the tomato plant. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, so we got the tomato plant, which then goes into the berry bush. Um, and you live in grasslands, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we're doing this. Oh, no, wait. Uh, I'm thinking we probably should check the below 15. Yeah. Which is... Ooh, almost. Yeah, right up in here. I was thinking this would be a great area over here because the chickens haven't taken it over yet. <laughs> So, yeah, okay. I think that's might of what I did. Anyway, so what, I'll, what I usually would do is just, you know, say, hey, I'm, okay, I've got a plan of attack now. Is try to get these um, tomato bushes to grow up and create some fruit so I can drop my rabbits in here. And then I need three rabbits to end my wild mint, which I think... Sorry, but so yeah, so I just tend to focus more in my um, offline game, as they per se. And I think I can now drop a rabbit right here. Yeah, Ooh, these things are small. And then hopefully, produces fruit. Come on, drop the fruit. Oh, oh, oh! No, no, not horrible. Recognize your authority. Hmm. Is there another carrots, flowers? Ooh. Oh, well, your hunger's not dropping. Okay, well, that's that's an improvement. I guess you're eating, but you're not. Okay, so you're eating, but you're not liking. Woo! There we go. Oh, no, no, we need more rabbits. Okay, reproduce. Be rabbits. Only two. Only two. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Woo. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I guess that's what I did, uh, because um, um, I was confused at the time. <laughs> Always, but uh, I was sort of confused at the time because um, I wasn't sure what's, what, um, you know, what fruits were there. Um, there isn't, I don't think there's a fruit tree, um, and then you can, uh, so I wasn't, there's not a, a fruit category here, so I'd, I wasn't I wasn't kind of aware of this as the, and two I was thinking of like fruit as like you know, sort of a less you know, from the from the earthly sort of world from the world point of view of like hey, fruits and versus vegetables and stuff like that. Okay, so we need uh, oh we need pink, pink berries. Oh, okay, so we need tomatoes. Uh, you need trait of pink. Sounds fun. 15 key K. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this. My poor rabbits are going to be like, what are you doing? But, uh... Okay, sweet. So we got our, um, thing. So... Oh. Tomatoes. No worries. It's okay, people. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. 
Uh, the other thing, too, is uh, you can actually hit R now, which, because uh, I was noticing my camera seems a little... There. I wish it would reset the camera to be, you know, lined up instead of actually reset it to the, I don't know, default position or whatever. Are you... No. Um... Oh, you know, I think I forgot to... Um... Oh, oh, oh! Pink! We have pink! Well, then less 10% cross. Okay. Oh, well. Um, so this should be carrots, I believe? Yeah, I believe those are carrots. Uh, root vegetables. Yes. So you are grasslands. So I think you're... Wait. Oh, no, no. You're the focus. Oh, yeah. There. The star. There we go. Okay, and then you're, are you still, yeah, you're the wrong color. Now, now we have pink. Cool. Uh, and then I can transpoint it. How much are you? 14K. Oh, and we have our carrots. Sweet. Um, someone to eat carrots. Uh, anyway, so part of that, uh, what we got, we were going through is the, um, let's see, where is it? I don't know if it's going to be hard to find, but yeah, the grassy plains, we need the, um, uh, I'm not, yeah, there was some, oh, right here, right here, the, um, woodland biome, so we needed the elm and sycamore, um, and so we, we got through that, and I, I might have been the grassy plains. I'm not sure. Maybe it was just uh, increasing, but that's is it through the last. Oh no. Anyway, so we we picked up uh, one more, which is cool. So now we actually got a uh, have me fully built and filled. Oh yeah, yeah. So we got the uh, spear. Wow, twelve thousand. Oh, and that unlocks jungle grass. Oh. Hmm, we haven't done that before. Whew. Okay, so now, um, so we need, uh, we need a grassland, which is, what, what are you exactly, your four woodlands? Yeah, so what I'm thinking about doing, are you pink? Yeah, you're pink. Oh, no, no, clicky, clicky, click, I'm thinking about, no. You. Yes, tomato. That's pink. Uh, I'm thinking about picking you up and... Oh, I forgot to look at the requirements. You happy? Tell you what. Go! Survive! So that's partly what I would do is I, like, just focus on this and you know, just fast forward it, and maybe I should do that more instead of kind of, you know, I mean, you do have to wander a little bit. There we go. Woohoo! Are you gonna be... Mm, altitude's good. You don't spread anything, per se. Okay, so now we have the, um, berry bush, which is a... what exactly? It's a forest woodland that needs large rocks. Um, and it doesn't spread a biome. Wait, do you spread a biome? Yeah, spreading is kind of one of those things, like, you don't want to, you know, drop a spreads grassland in your woodland. That would be... Oh, and here it is. Um, I can't remember now. Berries. Oh yeah, then we can create some. Um, oh, we need bees. So between forty-five and sixty. Woo. Do we have the? Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's probably wood. I'm not gonna worry about that right in this very minute. But yeah, so hopefully this will be uh, video number eight, I believe, uh, coming out on December 1st, 2018. And uh, if you're catching up this later, sorry for all the confusion and trouble. But uh, hopefully we got some of this worked out. Uh, we're going to... Um, oh, I don't think we need to track any of this anymore. But yeah, we got our pink, um, pink tomatoes, which created the berry bush. Um, we've got our sparrows for our chickens, which is pretty awesome. Um, I think we need to feed carrots to a specific, um, to our warthogs. Yeah, I believe you guys want the diets, which are kind of frustrating sometimes. Oh, you need potatoes. Which is a root vegetable, right? Yeah, so it's through the sage. Oh, which is probably, well, it's Heather. Anyways, uh, here, let me just drop a sage. couple minutes left. Just trying to keep him to a, a sort of an average length for uh, some people. No, it's maybe not great for everybody, but oh, you know, I think Sage is a herb. <laughs> One of those things about these games is like, you really hope they're sort of at least trying to... Oh, yeah, yeah, so we need the Acer tree. Yeah, actually, this would be perfect because we need 40,000 for the correct... Um, uh, uh, no, no, through the correct... Um, uh, you... No. Yeah, right here. So we need this. Um, yeah, so we need the, the correct color of, I believe, orange, dark orange... Anyway, so that's what we'll focus on next time. Uh, focus, uh, just focus on that. We got the DP to do it. Uh, do that, and then get through the potato, hopefully, and then uh, work on um, feeding these uh, or wild boars, and then upgrade them to hedge um, warthogs just through the potato. Uh, so, anyways, I've been McHaven. This has been Aquilinox. Uh, thanks very much for sticking with watching. This is pretty awesome. There's tons of. Uh, YouTubers out there now doing this, which is really great. Um, I can't wait for the next dev vlogs and kind of see where he goes next. So, thank you very much, and I'll take I'll see you guys next time.